Call the police. Max, please call the police. Can you please move out of the area, sir? It's before nine o'clock in the morning. ask you to leave out of the This is dangerous. Provocateur. Can you move, please? Why don't you stop provoking people? I'm not provoking you, know, you to get out you're of this area. Everybody standing here with white skin, being a white South African, and with your East European and cronies. And where's the jobs yeah. for the English boys? Racist. Yeah. Come in here, yeah. undercutting all our yeah. workforce. Yeah. Off back to South Africa. Yeah. Cheapskate. You're gonna get yourself. All right, I know this is kind of confusing. Okay, I'm trying to figure it out myself. So let's put up the picture full mass. The individual pictured here, uh, he is our male Karen. Um, according to what we can conclude from the narrative and those who opined, uh, he is being xenophobic. He is harassing construction workers and he is adversarial to their brand of whiteness. His brand of whiteness obviously is superior. Um, this is probably a first of this type of Karen encounter we've seen on Indisputable. Uh, we are realizing that Karenicity is actually, ladies and gentlemen, evolving. All right, um, Sharon, it was real simple. The construction team was there, he figured or assumed that is just too early to do construction. So he's going nowhere, <laughs> thoughts? Well, I was, I'm glad you cleared it up, Dr. Richie, because at first I did, and I mean this, I thought it was a Borat skit <laughs> and I was looking for the next <laughs> installment to come out. I did, because he does that risque of some yeah. racist thing. And I thought, that, well, this is interesting. And he's really done himself up this time. <laughs> a fool, now that we know indeed it's a male Karen, they're gonna do what they wanna do and you will play by their rules and that's that. That's it. No. They nope. No. Yeah, all right. Welcome to Indisputable. I'm your host, Dr. Rashad Richard. We got a lot happening today. But what do we do on this show? We tell the truth. You know why we tell the truth? Because the truth is simply indisputable. Rashad, great to be here. Congratulations on the new show. And I gotta let everybody know that Rashad and I go way back. Here's the pattern that we see in all of these Karen stories. They think they own stuff they do not own. Now, where does that come from? I don't know, maybe slavery. Maybe they think they should still own black people. This is what happens when Karens weaponize the police. When you're used to privilege, equality seems like oppression. It hits you in a certain way when someone is holding you against your will, treating you like you're a criminal and you're an innocent person. This is something that black people face no matter where they are. A stronger black economy lends itself to a, a stronger, greater economy. Don't think it's exclusive of you, it's inclusive of you. What's your beef with critical race theory? It adds more fuel to the fire of the racist tendencies that we already have. We have a generation of problem solvers that can remedy the problem if they are properly taught what the problem is. You know who created redlining in this country? Mm -hmm. The white liberal. I, I, don't, I don't give a damn who created it. If it's a racist policy, racist policy, Shelly, here's what I don't know. I don't know. See, there you go filibustering, brother. You're scared of this truth, but you're gonna get it, though.